Hello and welcome, Zevlin here, and let's try Stronghold Crusader 2 by Firefly Studios. I used to play the Stronghold series a long time ago. I really quite enjoyed it, and I was excited for this one to come out. It came out today, and I spent maybe a minute or two in the tutorial just to kind of get my bearings back again. It's very similar to the old style of gameplay. Um, so I decided I'm just going to record this right off the start. Haven't hardly played at all. Let's just jump straight in. And we have some different options here. Uh, you have the tutorial, very brief and not real informative, basically just some basic controls. Um, so I'm going to try one of these learning campaigns. Um, it looks like... Well, that uh, music's interesting. Okay, anyway. Um, looks like there's a couple of different things. They're not locked or anything, so I can play any one I want. A couple of the other options are these skirmish trials. Um, there are some that are locked. It looks like this one has three stages. This one has four and six. And supposedly, I haven't played them yet, but it looks like as you play through, what happens is you kind of unlock them. And they get harder and harder as you go. So that's kind of an interesting thing. There's also um, custom skirmishes where you basically can just, I don't know, build your own little skirmish. I haven't really looked at that yet. And a sandbox mode where you just build and play. There's also a multiplayer mode. So let's go straight into learn campaigns. I'm going to start with preparations. Following a long sea voyage, you will be the first ashore in this strange new land. Take a landing party and prepare for the main forces arrival by clearing the area of the ruins of the old fishing village and collecting some supplies. Okay, well, that seems simple enough. I'm going to go ahead and keep this on normal difficulty, I believe. Um, sounds like I'm going to be the only one on the map. And I just need to collect 100 uh, apples and destroy some buildings. Um, also, I need 150 wood, so that sounds easy enough. This is a strange land indeed, sire. Not like the green hills of home, that's for sure. Okay, then. It looks like a nice ship. Probably better ship than they had. I mean, I don't really know that well. I know a little bit of history. It seems like more like a... Sire, we should make room on the oasis for our apple farms by clearing away some trees with our woodcutters. Sounds like a good plan. This ship seems a little... future tech for this time period, but I, I don't know. I'd have to do a little research Sire. on that. Place some woodcutters close to the oasis. Yep. They will always chop down the closest tree they find. Will do. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and build one right there. And right there. And then they'll clear out these trees for me. And you know what? I have plenty of guys. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of resources. Doesn't look like a build anymore. Let's build one there. A cache of resources. Supply cache. Stockpile liege, has a little bit of wood. We need to clear away the ruins. Select those idle troops and right click on the ruins you want them to remove. Okay. My feet hurt. Couple of conscripts. Stick them forks in them. Get them beaten on some walls. I'm going to take my king and have him beat on some walls too. Keep your helmet on, Squire. Let's put them on. Stand Looks in. like I could do yeah. different stances. Let's see if I put them on aggressive it's a stance. If they'll just keep beating on walls. Nope. Lordship. Bit early for this, isn't it? Morning, boss. Right over. Maybe I put them on Come different on, walls, boys. so I don't have to just keep clicking and clicking and clicking. Hut provides six this housing. This place seems uninhabited. I think we'll be safe for a while. So only build apples and wood camps. I have three wood camps. Supply.
supply cache. I don't know if I need to pick that up or... It's not really telling me. It just oh, said I found yes. it. Okay, come on. Keep beating on walls. My lord. Keep beating right on oh. walls. Sire, our scouts have sighted hidden supply caches out in the desert. We should send some troops out to dig them up. Okay, I can do that. Do I have any more troops anywhere? Just, is that it? Our food stocks are dwindling, my liege. Yep. My lord. Great. Another I don't think match. I need to do that one. Let's move in again. There. Peasants are reporting devilish winds, my liege. They destroy all before them. Hmm. Looks like I have destroyed Sire, 11 of 16 we have buildings. A of resources. Oh, Sire, no. We have uncovered a cache of food. Morning, boss. I don't know where the rest of these buildings are. Rally to the Lord. He is under attack. Oh no! You got hit by a tornado. Oh look at look at this. Here I'm just nice staring day, at it. Nice day, your highness. Morning, boss. Right there. Go get it. All right. I look like I have some wood. Let's go ahead and build another guy to grab wood. And why not just some more? Just grab all the wood. Go ahead and start building apples, too. That is the objective, after all. Oh, the heat here is overwhelming. It almost makes me miss the gray clouds and rain of England. There we go. Some apples. And I have one more building to destroy right Nice here. day, your highness. Right-o. Oh, nice there's another cache. Her. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of food. All right. That's all the ruins cleared, my lord. Great. And another there's another map. cache right here. Look at that. And over there. Nice. I don't know why there's just apples sitting out here in the desert. Doesn't seem to make sense to me, but you know. That's how it is. I have plenty of peasants. I think I'm going to turn the food rations down. No, no, they're going to leave. I don't want them to leave. Never mind. I was Sire, hoping that I could zero it out. A cache of food. I don't really need Sire, gold. We have uncovered a cache of resources. Negative one. Hmm. Are they going to keep leaving? There we go. They're happy enough to have four people. All right. Let's. Oh yeah. Looking away. Let's get it's walking. Quite simple little campaign here. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of food. Let's see if I can build some more apple farms and just really finish up these objectives. Looks like I might actually just need to build some more woodcutters and just really plow through. Not enough workers available to run this building. Well, let's make them happier. Let's grab another worker. So the way this kind of works here is um, your happiness. With a few more hands, we could do this much faster. Such a shame we lost so many to the plague on the journey over. Hmm. Looks like I can't build houses, so that's kind of the cap of workers I have. But anyway, the way it works is uh, based off of the number of houses you have, which I have um, some people can live in the keep, and then some people can live in a hovel. So six people can live here, so I'm assuming eight can live here. And... The happier they are, based off these settings, the faster they'll come in up till that maximum. Now, if I piss them off, then they will actually leave. Well, except for now, they're 10 happiness. Why is... Oh, because no tax rate versus paying. So I could actually pay them to come in and they'll be super happy, or I could have a tax rate and they will be sad. So I'm actually going to... May as well tax them. Uh, I don't need any we more happiness. I can't have any more people. Need, sire. And we have all the wood. So I'm going to go ahead and start turning Work off. Halted, my lord. I can turn off two of these. And then these workers can become apple farmers. If there's anywhere left 
to build apple farms. It doesn't look like I've cleaned them out enough yet. So these wood choppers are just not quite clear in enough area. So since I don't need those people, I'm actually going to turn my rations down, like I was saying, to half. So as you can see here, I have negative 10 happiness to spare people that don't have jobs. And they will leave as this bar goes down. The more unhappy they are, the farther this bar will come down. The same thing is true if they're happy. The more happy they are, the faster they'll go up. And they will become more and more unhappy as they fill up. As you can see, it was five. Now they're kind of at their cap. So what I'm going to do... The lower taxes to zero to make them somewhat happy, but then I'm going to lower our food rations to half, so they're not going to eat as many apples. A granary stock. So I can hopefully sire. fill this up. We have all Just the like apples that. we need, sire. And I win. And so you we can kind of manipulate. We are victorious, sire. Manipulate your pot. Uh, In the heat of the battle, why does the pelican appear so damn calm? Hmm. Anyway, you can manipulate your population. And, you know, control it that way. It's, looks like there's some charts and stuff. It looks like it's not quite fully implemented. I'm not sure if this is because of the way it downloaded. I had it set to pre-download. I'm not sure if this is just a bug left in the game. I highly doubt they released like this. But maybe that'll fix itself soon enough. Seems to only be in the uh, end screen there. So let's go ahead and jump into the next little thing here. Blacksmiths and bows. With more of the army now arriving every day, the beach site has become too crowded and a main base must be established. Scouts report a promising site further inland. It has rich iron deposits for weapons and is uninhabited apart from a few dangerous beasts. Okay. I wonder what kind of beasts inhabit this exotic country. Place your stockpile, my lord. All right, and we're starting from the beginning here. We just have our keep. Have to lay down a stockpile to hold our resources. Let's see, where am I going to build? It looks like I'm going to start over here, so I'm just going to build a stockpile right there. Sire. And I have to have a granary, which holds all the food. I'm going to put this over here as well, uh, close to where I'm going to be building my food production. Here's my objectives. I can build hovels this time, but I need to start out by building wood camps. Okay, and as you could kind of see last time... Um, Sire, the iron deposits are in a canyon beyond the trees. We should build some iron mines there. We should. So, as you see last time, it kind of seemed like I was pretty wood dependent. Uh, I need lots of people chopping wood for me. Um, that wasn't kind of the case, and as I remember from the previous ones, Don't it's been a long time since I've played. Need a supply of food as well, my leech. Um, well, I would, but I don't have any wood. I remember just placing like one or two wood camps before and that being enough for pretty much everything. But like I said, been a long time. I don't know if they'll chop these trees or not. Look, lions, sire. We should build a barracks and conscript some peasants to fight them as soon as possible, my lord. Yes, we should fight the lions. Okay, so let's let's look. Can I build I can build an armory if I had wood. I can build a barracks. So I can build conscripts. What well, these are basically unarmed peasants. Um, well, they not completely unarmed. That. They have little clubs. Not exactly ideal for On fighting feet, lions. Boys. Probably need spears or something. Ooh, a command. I can build a swordsmith and a Fletcher's shop. I need more gold, which only comes in from my taxes. But I need an armory for them to put them in, so I need to build that first. I think I need to build more wood camps. I really need to get my supply of wood flowing in. It's kind of been... Kind of slow. Now I am curious. 
just for experimentation sake, if this isn't the case, this is going to be not an ideal location. But I'm going to put a wood guy here, and I'm going to watch this guy and see if he chops down these trees. I don't know if you have to chop down these trees in the oasis or if these count as trees too, but let's find out. Could build some more peasants. I think though I want to actually get some archers. Now it doesn't look like that's going to be feasible right now. I could up the tax rate and get a little bit of money faster. And it does look like, look, he did go over here, I believe. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Yep, he's right here. He's hiding in this tree. He's ch chopping down these trees. So that's nice. So I don't have to build them all around the oasis. So the next thing I need to build before I run out of food is I need to build some apple orchards. Our food stocks are I only have 16 heavy. food, and you can buy and sell food. So it's actually kind of nice to like bake some bread or make some cheese and sell them to buy something cheap like apples. That's a good supply of food. Now I'm out of peasants because I am at eight of eight so I'm gonna to need to build a hovel and as you can see here if I build it here it will be eight peasants if I build it over here it'll be six peasants and the further away I get the less peasants it holds out of food, sire. it does cost less wood the further away I'm gonna start down here actually just start right there what needed your lordship there we go there's I can now build 16 peasants so they're coming in again at 20 happiness uh, but I'm out of food so it instantly goes down to negative happiness because if I'm not giving them any food it's a negative 30 modifier so I definitely need the granary more is food. empty sire Let's see I can build some more I build them here I can build them right just like this. Are there actually people working in these things? This building is currently functioning, my lord. There's a jester spreading merriment. There's an apple farmer farming me some apples. Does look like it takes a while to get set up. Look, these little things are actually turning red and they pick them. And then once they pick them, they march them over to here. So I actually have enough money now. I could build a Fletcher's workshop. Not enough workers available to run this building. And then as soon as I have some happiness, so here's my population just went up. He'll come from here. As soon as he gets there. He will go be a woodcutter. Evidently, I was out of woodcutters. This guy is idle and waiting for a job. This building is currently functioning, my lord. That looks like I did get a Fletcher. So as soon as I get some bows and arrows, I'll be able to build myself a, a few guys to go shoot these lions. Holy crap, there's a lot of lions there. I may want my sword guy. As well, our granary stocks are growing, sire. Looks like they're growing pretty fast. What about my wood? How's my wood doing? Pretty good. Can I get this stuff without pissing off the lions? I don't know. Let's try. Let's build this back here. Let's build. I think I need an ox. We are under attack. A lion has attacked the village. No. My lord. Stick them forks in them. They're killing my people. Still no They're sign of on. habitation, sire. It's making me uneasy. <laughs> These peasants right are beating on the Once lion. The iron mines are operational, my lord. We will need to place ox tethers nearby to transport the iron. There it is, it's telling me I need 
an ox tether. I probably could have built it a little later than this, since it doesn't have any. Oh crap! No. Oh yes. Come on, boys. No armory built. What? Oh, whoops. I forgot to build the armory. You have to have an armory so that you can store your weapons. And there we go. Now we have one bow. Um, also just killed all my peasants. That's not good. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. I'm going to build a different kind what of food. Your lordship? Yep, but I am out of wood. Soon I'll be able to build my uh, blacksmith's workshop. Which will be supplied by my iron mine. Some stats. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. There's two days supply stored. It's saying that there's zero made per day, but that may just be an average, and since they're so long in between the different averages, or between the deliveries, that it may just not be working. See, now it's saying 24 made per day. So It's very quiet in the treasury right now, my liege. Making some taxes. Probably need to produce a little bit more food, it looks like. My lord, these lands are beset by plagues of flying beasties. They black out the very sky itself. Huh. Okay. It's a locust swarm, so it's going to give me a negative 20 modifier. That's not good. And here comes my big Jim, the ox. He's carrying some iron to my stockpile. So soon I'll have iron. And I can sell some of this stuff too. Now we have iron, sire. We should start weapon production as soon as possible. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and lower my tax rate to increase my happiness because I need more people. And I have my 100 gold I will need for now to build an iron mine. Needs one more person. Work halted, my lord. I'm gonna halt this the, building has no by pushing this button. I actually halt all three buildings. So basically, everything of this industry, actually four. Um, that'll put some different people to work in different places. Also, it will protect them from these lions that are hanging out over here. Since I can't really do anything about it, I'm going to build six conscripts real fast. Sire. Morning, boss. To go ah! take out the lions. Come I'm on, gonna boys. eat my gesture. Let's go take out the lions that are in the town. Oh yes. Looks like the gesture is Nope, he definitely can be eaten. My lord. And the gesture got eaten. That's not good. I have arrows, Rally to the Lord. He is under attack. but it doesn't look like I can actually build any troops besides conscripts. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I know I need them for my obje objective, but it sure would be nice to be able to build some... I'm going to need more tax money so I can build conscripts. Um, would be nice... Orders? Hey, look, spearmen. Of course, sir. I didn't even see them down here. That's nice. Would have been Ready, nice to sir. have them a minute ago. Morning, boss. Let's How's my wood walking. doing? Let's look at my wood. I have 144 wood. That's plenty. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. Yeah. And I have a little bit of cheese. Let's build another cheese. Blacksmith is making swords now, so I'll be closer to my objective. We should probably go take out those lions as soon as I can. Set a rally point right there. I don't like them being so close to this. Let's just Recruits keep, needed, sire. keep making 
conscripts as I can. Is that a live lion? I thought I said oh, a rally yes. point. There we go. We got a right click. Ready and waiting. It's a lot of guys. Let's go fight lions. Spears are the ready. Need Let's turn on the wood industry again, just in case. Orders? Yes, sir. Finish them off, man. Poor little conscripts are getting eaten by lions. Spears at the ready. Yes, right, let's, sir. Let's pull back. Sir, yes, sir. I'm gonna set my rally point forward. Built a few more conscripts. Well, one. And I'll be able to build another one as soon as I get a peasant. There we go. Now I'm just kind of waiting on peasants. And as you can see, every time a peasant comes in, the happiness drops by five. And another peasant won't come in if the happiness isn't at five. But if I build a conscript... Let's wait a second. It looks like this preloads. It doesn't show it. But as soon as I build this, I should have another peasant. Nope, it just went really fast. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. We are under attack. Would be nice if I could get some arrows or build some archers. Or something. Yeah, see, it goes faster if it's been a while since another person came. And evidently, only peasants use housing. The army does not. I guess that's what the barracks are for. I'm wondering if my happiness will go up more if there's more houses. Yeah, look at that. Wood needed, me lord. There we go. That'll be a little bit faster for me to build some peasants needed, sire. Build some peasants. Look how fast those are coming in now. Recruits needed, sire. There we go, now I'm almost out of money. Be able to build this one and the next one, and then I'll be waiting on money anyway, so let's just go fight some lions. Keep your helmet on, Squire. My feet hurt. So the more actually, on, okay, boys. I see. Here's housing. There's beds available versus beds needed. Occupancy percentage kind of factors into a plus rating for your happiness. So that kind of makes Lord. sense. He is under attack. Stick them forks in them. Yeah, moving again. More. You do not have enough gold to train this unit. Oh yes. It's a slaughter. All right. Last lion. Nope. Here comes another one. Ah! Where's my peasants? Lordship. Ooh, a command. Okay. Great. You guys fall back. Ooh, a command. More peasants. You do not have enough gold to train this yes, unit. Just conscripts, nice technically. Nice day, your Highness. Whoa. Come on, boys. All right, let's go fight this lion. Hopefully it's... Nope, oh, there's another one. Stay All right, fight this lion. Nope. Perhaps those lions come up fast. Come on, boys. Ah! It's All a right. slaughter. Kill the lion, then.
There we go. Nice day, your highness. Excellent. Right can we have some horses? No, I'm just waiting on some swords. And my bows seem complete. So, or will be very, very soon. So I think I'm going to build one more sword guy. Blacksmith. Let's raise the tax rate. Get that up to 100. Of extra guys anyway. Tons and tons of extra guys. There we go. 90. Come on. There's my 100 gold. Let's build... Heck, let's just build another one. Let's just get this done. Let's knock this out. I still have 11 extra idle peasants, so no need to make them too happy. In fact, I think I may even have idle peasants while after this finishes off. Let's just piss them all the way off. They come back pretty fast. There we go. Drop this back down to make sure they stay happy. And look at that. All right, let's build another one of those. And there's another blacksmith. And hopefully they'll make my lots Lord, and lots. These lands are beset by plagues of flying beasties. Of sorts. They black out and the then I'll be done. Itself. Hey ho! Nice day, your highness. It does look like. I might he hey not heal. Right. I'm not sure. I don't think in the original you heal ever at all. Right O. Moving again. Would be nice if there was a way to heal your troops. Then again, there may be, you know, some mechanic later on, like some building I can build. Keep your helmet on, Squire. All right, all right. My lord. And then here we go. They are grabbing metal from there, coming down here, and building swords out of it. For some reason, I can't see inside that one. I can't see inside this one either. That's weird. This building is currently functioning, my lord. There we go. There's another sword. There's my last sword coming in. All right, I can't see inside that one now. We are victorious. All right, I won, and this screen's still messed up. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you want to see more of this, please like and consider subscribing. And uh, I may be making this into a let's play. I'll probably do, be doing skirmishes instead of this really simple learning and preparing sort of stuff. Uh, if I do do this, it'll be skirmishes, maybe even a multiplayer or two. You know, just comment. If you want to see something, let me know. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.